In 2006, when this newsmaker was hired, half-time, to run the struggling council on tall buildings and urban habitat, he had no mandate to grow it. But grow it, he did, into a virtual United Nations of the tall building sector. Membership has increased 539%. The annual budget is up from $225,000 to $5 million, and the staff has grown from the equivalent of 1.5 full-time employees to 31. The 9,042 organizational members from all disciplines of tall building production represent nearly 1.3 million individuals in 53 nations. Our newsmaker, also a professor of architecture, has initiated an original research program and expanded publications, awards, and conferences. The website has become an interactive treasure trove of data on high-rises, free to everyone. And not satisfied with having re-secured the group's reputation as the global authority on high-rises, the unstoppable newsmaker is next focusing on more sustainable cities and expanding the council into Africa and South America. Congratulations, Anthony Wood, Executive Director of Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I know everyone says it's a real honor, and it is an honor for all, for all of us to be up here. It's a real honor for me. You know, the council gives out awards every year, but it's the first time I've ever received one. Um, I arrived 10 and a half years ago, and every year I'd look at the ENR 25 top newsmakers and think, I wonder if one day. You know, so it's a real honor. Uh, it's especially an honor to be receiving this award in the presence of other award winners and past chairman of our organization, the council, Les Robertson, um, Ron Klemenchik, and as Ron would say, other rock stars in the tall building industry like Charlie Thornton and John Magnuson and Kerry Kapinski, so that's a, a, a real honor. You know, as the, as the little video showed, the council really has grown a lot, and um, we now have 70% of our members out of the, out of the, outside the USA, which if that doesn't tell you what has happened in tall buildings in the last 10, 20 years, I don't know what statistic does. Uh, not bad for a 48-year-old um, organization. Um, I really want to thank uh, one lady, other than my wife, everyone's thanking family, so I'll thank my wife as well, who is really, really supportive. But there's another lady I'd like to thank, who I, I know many people in the room will know is a really quite a special person. It's someone that I met a few years before I moved here 10 years ago. Uh, I hope I'm not crossing any boundaries to say she's become a real friend, and she's a, 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 an incredible person, and, and that's Nadine Post. Um, and the, at the end, of course. And the final thing I would like to say, and I'm the last, you know, the, so don't turn the music on at me, but the final thing I would like to say is, it's especially an honor for me to receive this as an Englishman. And unless someone was fudging their accent today, I don't know how many English people have won this in the past, but I'm the only one today, so thank you. <laughs>